So now we will discuss average speed and average velocity. So see here average speed is equal to basically total distance divided by total time taken. It means total distance traveled or the total path length of the path covered divided by total time taken. So, that is called average speed. Similarly, you can take here average velocity. Average velocity is equal to total displacement divided by total time. So, now see here average speed and average velocity. This is the total distance upon time, this is the total displacement upon total time, both have the same unit that is meter per second. But see here total distance never be 0, so the average speed cannot be 0, cannot be negative that means also and average velocity displacement can be 0, so the total uh, average velocity also can be 0. So, now let us do questions related to average speed and average velocity. So, just there is only one concept in both the cases average speed is the total distance upon total time whereas, average velocity is total displacement upon total time. So, just now we will take the one example related to these two formula. So, now look at this example this is related to average speed and average velocity, but the very simple example a body travels from A to B and at 40 meter per second and from B to A at 60 meter per second. Calculate the average speed and average velocity. Now, look at the question. Suppose this point is A and this point is B. Body is going A to B at the speed of 40 meter per second and coming back with a speed of 60 meter per second. So, now see here calculating average velocity is very simple in this case because the body is going A to B and B to A, it means it is coming back to the main mean uh, sorry original position. So, the basically displacement is 0. So, you can write here in this case displacement is 0 since body has come back to original position. So, the average velocity average velocity will be 0. So, average velocity you can directly write by this way just by saying the question, but see what about the distance body is going A to B, B traveling distance suppose x coming back B to A again traveling the same distance x. So, now you have to calculate average speed. So, for average speed first you have to calculate total time taken, how much the body is taking time to go A to B and then B to A. 